All right, let's dive into mid journey here because they updated it to version 5.2 and they got some new stuff going on. Besides, everything looks a lot better now, which always happens after every update. But they also got some new things going on inside mid journey. So I'm going to show you exactly what changed and maybe you can use those features for your artwork if you create stuff with mid journey. All right, so I'm into Discord now to mid journey. And the first thing I wanna show here, if I press settings here, it automatically shows that mid journey is now running on version 5.2, which you can see here, mid journey version 5.2. So you don't have to type 5.2 after each edit that you create, just create something and it will automatically be in the latest version. Now let's try to create something. So let's do imagine and let's say just lion portrait eye level oh, eye level shot and let's see what comes out from this all right so the design is ready and here you can see what it created it looks really photorealistic now these are awesome shots and i want to show the new features that are now available so if i have these four artworks that created by mid journey let's just make one bigger let's say let's take the last one and let's make it bigger and then we can see the new features that are available so here is the design that it created in bigger size and you can see here it looks really nice. Now we have some new features going on here and this one very strong is added and very subtle. So if I want to change this image and I want to change it like really strong, I will select very strong. And if I want to change it just a little bit different, I will select very subtle. Now the other thing that's interesting here, we got zoom out times two zoom out. 1.5 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press on zoom out because maybe i want to show more of the lion's body i want to have the camera a bit more to the back of the line i mean away from the line and this way you can really control your edit now that you create in mid journey so most of the times when i use mid journey i get some really close-up shot i like the image but it's way too close for my editing so you can't see the top side here so i want to have it a bit more farther away from this face and now I can just easily do that with this button. So let's see what comes out from this. Okay, so here is the zoom out version. You can see here, we can now see the whole head of this lion and it even made four variations, which I can choose from. So this is really cool. If you wanna cut it out and edit in Photoshop, you can now have like its whole face, even see a bit, bit of the body there in the back. Now, so let's go back to the line here that I created to try the other thing. So if I wanna change this strongly, I will create, or I will click on very strong and it's gonna change this very strong. So let's see what comes out from this. So here is what Midjourney created now. It looks so super cool, so good. And you can see here, it made some strong changes. Although these two look a bit like each other and these look a bit different, but it's still in the same style. So those are pretty much the updates. There are some other updates like shorten your prompt, but I don't think that's really interesting. I thought these were pretty cool. So if you wanna know how to make these images like really big size and pixels, make sure to check out my previous video that you can find here. And until then, catch you in the next one.